Allison here for Black Cat Scraps. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly fan or a butter fan. All right, to get started, you will need um, two different kinds of pattern paper. Make sure it's a very lightweight paper, makes it a lot easier to fold it. The size squares that I'm using, the larger red one is three inches by three inches and the smaller one is two and a half by two and a half. So fold your square in half diagonally and you're going to do it again the other direction but only put the fold mark on just the middle part. You just need to know where to put the center of your tip. So make a fold there and do the same on the other side. So now it's in four sections and then you're going to take that mountain peak and line it up to the other one and increase that fold and you're going to do that with all of the sides so you're basically making an accordion Right, so once you've completed that step, the next step is to create two more mountain folds so that you can um, line them up together and create a valley in between them. So you're creating more accordion folds. I found with the size of paper it's much easier to do accordion folds this way as opposed to starting from one end and folding them the tightness that you need and then going the other direction it's a lot easier to just keep going halves and halves so you're gonna do it again with this and it might be a little tricky because this um, distance between the mountain and mountain are a lot smaller so if you need tiny fingers maybe you can find someone to help you with this or have a little patience What I do is pinch and then I stuff my finger in the middle and kind of shove it down. So go ahead and crumple up your accordion. You may have to tease it in if the lines aren't um, creased well enough. And then go ahead and pinch that with like a paper clip or um, a binder clip and then go ahead and do this with the smaller square. When you're finished take a pin and open up your accordion fly halfway open and then stick your pin through. Too many layers of paper it makes it a little difficult to pierce a hole but if you do it um, a quarter to a halfway and then start feeding your paper folds onto your pin. Make sure you are centered when you're doing this and that you are also not going too close to the folds that you're in, in between each of the folds. And you can use the a table or a hard surface to help you towards the end. And I'm actually using a sewing needle and there's a purpose for this and attach your bottom wings. I have wire here from wired ribbon. I took the wire out. So this ribbon, this wire is really thin. Um, so I threaded it into the needle and am now threading the wire onto the butterfly wings. Alright, so pinch them tight and you're going to take the top wire and bring it forward and wrap it around 
and then you're going to take the bottom wire and also bring it forward and wrap it around and back up to the top and then now twist these two wires together to hold it tight don't twist too tight because this wire is kind of thin it could break and uh, adjust the antennas if you want and trim them if they're too long or lopsided okay so you can open up the fans just a little bit and leave it like that or if you want a very wide open fan butterfly I'll show you how to do that so kind of um, work the paper into staying open and you're gonna need some strips of paper cut them about three-eighths of an inch wide and figure out how long you need each strip to be so and cut and since the other side is going to be the same just cut a second piece and take some craft glue and put it on one part it doesn't matter immensely how much you use just put the excess on the other strip so you have a nice spread even amount and fan open your wing and place the strip perpendicular to the fold lines as best you can you're gonna have to hold it open while it dries if you use quick dry glue it probably would be much easier and repeat this on the other side to do the bottom I decided to just do a longer strip and have it attach both at the same time I think using a liquid glue would do this job the best because the glue would be able to mold into the fold lines much better than say Tombow Mono or the red tape strips. So trim off what you see on the other side and that butterfly is finished. Here's another one I made using origami paper with a tighter pattern. Next, best way put, another way to make what I just made. If you found the last one to be a little difficult, try this one. For another alternative to make an accordion butterfly is you'll need two squares. You'll need the large and the small. And you're going to fold them as such so you can create a template. Line up your corner to the first quarter line and attach the two pieces together, making sure that they are squared with one another. And then place it on the back of your pattern paper, mark the corners, and if you have a paper trimmer, it works really well to just line up the two marks and cut away. Alright, so now I have my template, and um, unless you do it in this formation, you can't really have the bottom and the top be two different colors. So this is the downside to this, but what you're going to want to do is kind of find halfway so that you can fold these properly so that they're even and squared to the corner. And then you're just going to continue to accordion fold this just like the other butterfly. Alright, so once you've finished folding your accordion for the butterfly here, you will notice that the distance between this edge and that first fold line is going to be smaller than this side, which is all right. So accordion it up. And 
and find some wire or string right. and then open these up And you can do the same paper thing to get them to stay open, but here's another version. This one might be easier for some of you. Um, it could be a little trickier, who knows. I found it the easiest to make a 3x3 three three square and a 2.5x2.5 and square, folding them uh, in half and then half again and then half again to find these two points lining this corner up to the first quarter and then just making sure that these two edges are lined up straight and attaching them and that's the best way to make this template for this kind of butterfly. Uh, if you want to have top and bottom a different color it would probably be easier to do these two separately. Big hugs to everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Um, please comment on this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks so much if you already are a subscriber. And share this video if you love it. Thanks so much everyone. Have a great day. Music by Josh Woodward. Morning Blue. Check out some of my other videos on butterflies.